Hi, this is Lisa Marie Seip, and I'm here at Regular Gallery, and I'm giving you a tour today of my show, Girl Plays in Radioactive Dirt. Here, is, what we're looking at is the art statement for the show, as well as a picture titled Young Linda, and this is a picture of my Aunt Lynn. She was my godmother. The show is dedicated to her. Um, she died over a month ago of um, various types of cancer, lung, bone, brain, and kidney. And the reason I titled the show Girl Plays in Radioactive Dirt is because when she was one, she lived in Las Vegas and she was 65 miles from where a nuclear bomb test uh, went off. And after that nuclear bomb went off, she played outside for the next year. So I am saying through this show maybe what happened to her, you know, all the cancer she had in her late uh, 50s was caused by the time when she was one and played outside in, in that radioactive dirt. So the next piece here that, um, that we're looking at is titled, We're Rooting for You, Kid. Kind of references that playing outside with the pail. And these next pieces, are all of bone cancer and they have a spine-like feel to them with the placement of the, the cut pieces of paper. This first piece is called radioactive injection. This one is tripping over one of the many cords. And the last piece of this little series of three is called gamma ray sounds like something out of sci-fi. And here is the title in the gallery for my show. And um, when I'm telling you about the titles for the show, um, I want to let you know that when my aunt was sick, we um, or her family used something called care pages. And the care pages were a place where the family could post what was happening with my aunt, and my aunt could post as well and people could respond. It was great because they, the family didn't have to call everybody they knew to keep them updated, um, but we could go anytime and, and look and see what the update was, and, and I found it to be pretty uh, addictive to keep going there because I was you know, concerned about what was happening, and it was very touching to read all of the comments. So all of the show titles come from, or most, I should say most of the show titles come from things that either my aunt said in the care pages or someone commented on those care pages. So we just looked at the front gallery and I'm gonna go into the back gallery. This piece here is cervical cancer and it's titled, The Tumor is Very Little. And this piece is pretty dimensional. I, I need to show it to you from the side as well so that you can, you can see. And this one is, is a fairly small piece. It's hard to tell because it's taking up most of the, the screen here, but it, it is the smallest piece in the show. This next piece is titled The Halo That I Wear, and it is referencing bone cancer, again, having a, a bone-like movement to it or spine movement to it. And the paper is really dimensional, so I wanna come over to the side and, and show you um, how much it actually comes out from the, the canvas itself. And you can see all the shadows that it, it creates because it is so far away. The next piece is called Cancer Cell and it was the first piece that I created in the series and it has lung cancer on the inside of it. That's what the imagery is. And it was interesting because this ended up looking like it, it was neat. And at first I thought, you know, that is pretty disturbing, but when you think about it, you know, if it, these are cells, human cells, I mean, animals are made up of cells, so it's not very weird that it would look like flesh. This next piece is titled, It Started With a Backache, and that's actually why my aunt went to the hospital, or not to the hospital, to the doctor, and that's where this all started, is because her back hurt, and she found out um, 
that she had all these different types of cancer. And I'd like to, to say here that in all of the pieces, I chose one, one image of that certain type of cancer. In this case, we're looking at bone cancer, and I used the same image over and over again throughout the whole piece. And I did this because cancer uh, duplicates. It, 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 it moves and it grows, and I wanted to, to give that feel of something taking over and, and replicating, copying itself. And I chose in this piece and in a few other pieces to have everything the same color except for one element. And this was to reference that shift that happens. You know, when somebody gets cancer or they get sick, it, it has to start somewhere. One thing has to change and, and create the momentum into um, the illness. So that's why I choose to show one piece being a different color in several of the pieces just like I do in this one. And this one is called Boo, They Wouldn't Put on the Sirens for Me. And this is my favorite show title because I just thought it was so sweet and it shows my aunt's sense of humor that she wrote, you know, she was just so sad that the first time she finally got to ride in an ambulance and because it wasn't an emergency situation, they wouldn't put the sirens on for her. So I, I really like that statement. Here, I'll show this from the side so you can see the dimension of the piece. And this is bone cancer. The next piece is cervical cancer. And this one is titled A Little Dopey. And the last piece in the show which is titled Size of a Pea, Top of the Brain. And the reason I titled it this is because that's what my aunt said when she was referring to her brain cancer. So this is imagery of a brain tumor. And I'll show it close up. This one is interesting too. It, it's red and it ended up looking like meat. Here you can see that it's, it kind of looks like salami. I thought it was kind of disturbing because brain cancer is so Kind of nasty and for it to look like something that we eat was pretty disturbing to me. So I will stand back so you can kind of get an idea of what the entire gallery space looked like in the back and where pieces were or are. So that was Girl Plays in Radioactive Dirt by Lisa Marie Sipe.